Hey guys, how's it going? I hope you're having a good day. Today is Tuesday, November 8th. And I don't think there's anything exciting going on. Anything interesting. Why do you have to drag your butt on the carpet? So disgusting. Of course there's something exciting going on today. It's Tuesday, November 8th, which is election day. And we are gonna go out and I'm gonna go cast my vote for President of the United States. Along with a bunch of other things like Congress and, you know, propositions and mayor and, you know, all that stuff. It smells weird. Not sure why. Right after I go vote, my present to myself for voting is a... Polly! So yeah, right after I go vote, my present to myself is going to be, I'm gonna go buy the new Call of Duty. It's bright, so bright. Oh my gosh. Find shade, let's go find shade. Yeah, I told you guys I was gonna wait like a couple months to get the Call of Duty, and then I decided I just can't wait, and so I wanted to get it when it came out, but I couldn't because I was out of town. So now I'm back in town, I'm gonna go get the Call of Duty right after I vote, and then I have to edit my vlog before I can play the game, so that my incentive to myself to get the vlog done is you can't play until you edit. So that's what I'm gonna do. Then I'm gonna go get the game, and then I'm gonna go, after I play the game, I'll watch the news to see who's gonna win this election. I hope you guys are not as out of breath as I am. Whew. Do you want to tell everyone what you did? You go ahead, turn on the car so it's not hot in there. I got lost. I couldn't find where the place to vote. It was right. It's the same school, same same as last year. Uh, last time we voted. And in the primary. But I voted last time. It's in the same spot. Yeah, exact same spot. And I went around around in circles. I saw the kids in school. I go, but where is the, the place to vote? And since there was no line, I got lost. I went around my neighborhood looking for a different school <laughs> or something. Bye, Mom. Anyway, I voted. Bye. Woo! See you later. So my mom, I'm walking out from voting, and I see my mom walking in. And I'm like, I thought she had left the house like, 10 minutes before I did. So I figured by the time I got here, I don't see her car. Okay, maybe she just already voted and she's done. By the way, I'm done voting. So I walk out and I see her walking in and I'm like, what the heck are you doing? She tells me, I got lost. She went from the back of the school because we voted at a school. She walked from the back of the school and walked around and, or was driving around and she only saw kids because kids are in school, obviously. And so she couldn't figure out where to go. So on the time I voted for 10 minutes, then I drove here, then I voted and my mom was looking around. <laughs> with a place to go <laughs> and there's voting there was like polling place look look at this sign polling place it says it right here i'm slightly embarrassed for her but what are you gonna do okay cool so i voted i got my i voted sticker i gotta post a picture on snapchat with my i voted sticker voting you guys is so almost to the point where it's painless you walk in at least in california they don't even ask you for your ID if you've already voted before. Like, you're not required to show your ID. They ask for your name, and that's it. That's all they ask you for is your name, and then they ask you if your address is correct, and that's it. Voting is so painless, so important to do. And I know I'm preaching this a day late, but so painless, and so uh, I just recommend next and four years from now, or when we vote for like governor or whatever. Time to go get my video game. Hopefully they're not sold out. I don't think it should be. I'm gonna go to Target. Maybe I should go to GameStop. I'll go to GameStop first, and if they're sold out there, then I'm gonna go to Target. And if they're sold out there, then I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna cry. Viola. Or voila. I'm gonna turn on the car, it's freaking hot. Okay guys, got the game. Call of Duty Infinite Warfare look like this and I'm very excited to go home and play it. I'm gonna play the, well I need to edit my vlog first, but I'm gonna open this right now in the car because I have no self-control. All right, let's see what the inside of this looks like. Ooh, it's beautiful. Yeah, all right. I like it. 70 gigabytes minimum to run this freaking game. Well, I better go home and plug this in now so it has time to download and everything so I can play. Campaign, multiplayer, zombies. I'm not a big zombies fan. I I, I like, I've, I play sometimes occasionally, but I'm mainly multiplayer. So but I'm excited, I'm gonna play it anyways. I'll play zombies for a little bit. About to do my video, but put my game inside the PlayStation and let it do its thing because I know it's gonna take forever to download into it, as it always does. I'm gonna do that now while I edit. Taking out Black Ops 3 to put in Infinite Warfare. Rena, don't touch the camera, Rena. Let's see what this says. Preparing and 10 hours, which is what I thought I was gonna say. So I'm gonna turn off, turn off the internet on my laptop and my phone 
So this will go a little bit faster. And while I do that, I'm gonna turn on the news because it's election day and I like to see what all these psychopaths are talking about. Look at this. Is this the face of someone who's not feeling good or what? Is this the face of someone who needs a Xanax? A major Xanax? Major Xanax. You got any? I don't know, I don't have, I don't use Xanax. You know I'm against those. Against those, the rights you voted for marijuana. You gotta take that out? No. Okay. I'm here with Yvette. She came all the way here to vote. Just doing my civic duty. Just doing the civic duty. This election is so close that I have a, a physical headache from the stress. I just took Tylenol. You just took a Tylenol? I did because my head physically hurts. Yeah. I can't take it and my stomach is in knots. Those are called nervous poops and I get them a lot. And what happens, here turn this way because you're too dark. What happens is you get- IRL? You would, what oh happens, my God, why am I so short and why is my hair all crazy? When you, <laughs> when you get incredibly nervous, Sometimes you feel the need to poop, and then it comes out in diuretic form. It did. I'm sure it did, because that's a nervous poop. And yeah. I've had, I almost had one today when I went to go vote. I just felt a little nervous. I had a couple nervous poops. How many? Three. <laughs> a few? I had a couple? Three. That's a few. Yeah, had three nervous. That's too many. That's two too many. One is okay. I'm really nervous. <laughs> All right, now she's gonna go home. Peace. On the streets, son. Oh. <gasps> Oh, oh God! I was, I wasn't, I was aiming for a third <laughs> hand. I said so you captured. I'm so sorry. I was aiming for a hand. It's hard to see. Did you like capture that? Yeah, I got it. It's hard to see, like, cause I'm looking like at put the screen. In, can you just not touch me anymore? Oh, sure. Are you gonna put that in slow motion? Yeah, I got you. Yeah. It's fun. Oh. Oh. I'm just gonna keep my hand still, and you fist bump me. Oh. <gasps> Oh, Beanie, she hit me. <laughs> I was gonna punch you, and then I realized that my knuckle hurts from when you just hit me right now. So I was like, I'm just gonna You're slap you. All right, leave my house. Get out of here. Take off your voted sticker. No, I voted. Why, right. Yvette, You should go to Baskin Robbins or Dunkin'. Don uh, what's it called? Krispy Kreme. While you have time. Free, a free donut. Oh no, you got you got the nervous poops. Forgot. Bye. And that's actually gonna do it for me too, you guys. I have no idea who's president yet. I'm going to sleep. I'm too tired to stay awake for this. And we're gonna be up early in the morning. So we'll know who's the president tomorrow. And so will the rest of the world. So yeah, to whoever, to whoever the new president is, I hope they do a good freaking job because it's my future at stake. Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. I'll talk to you tomorrow, as always. Bye, guys.